Yay, Lindsay. Yay, develop mobile apps and have since um, added a line of business that teaches about Evernote and uh, how companies can best use Evernote to uh, just create some of these amazing workflows that uh, Phil and Andrew talked about today. So I'm going to show you some use cases, right? So how, why my small business works smarter with Evernote, okay? So three use cases and then we're going to do some Q&As and I know New York has some good questions, okay? If you guys are tweeting, tweet me, okay? Lindsay C. Holmes, yes. This was at the Trump conference, I hope you guys come. Okay. So number one, my amazing yet highly disorganized clients were making it hard for me to be in business, okay? So I'm a small business, you don't quite know balance yet, you don't tell your clients not to call you at four in the morning because you don't want to lose that client. Um, so I treated every single client with kid gloves and it was a lot of wear and tear on me. So I started this like passive aggressive approach um, that would allow me to help them, right? Help them with their workflow, but that would really help me, right? So this is one of, um, my test cases. Minority Media Telecom Council is a group of lawyers. Um, they think they know everything. They probably really do know everything. Um, they're the foremost authority on broadband and telecom policy in Washington, D.C., okay? So we were hired to execute their sharing strategy, right? So we do inter stuff, we do external stuff, you know, I'm this creative with this jewelry, with these lawyers, um, you know, so they didn't know what social media was, but I got them to buy, so that was great. But then I had to help them execute, right? So one of the, the, the main things that we did was to share bulletins, right? So share these like law papers. I still don't know what they say or what they did, but they had to be public, right? They had to post them publicly. Um, people inside needed to be able to gain access to them. 